when the RFID card is inserted, power gets activated and the card's ID is read out. The joystick has a vibration motor at the bottom which gives haptical feedback whenever the joystick is moved. By pushing the joystick up the draw gets increased by 1. Pulling it down decreases it by 1. Right and left are adding or subtracting 10 from the draw. A protection mechanism is coded in, so no more money than the account's balance could be taken out. By pushing the joystick down, the draw gets subtracted from the account's balance. Meanwhile money gets dispensed out of the bottom of the machine as shown previously. Money can be added to your account's balance by depositing coins in the machine. This is achieved by having a small momentary switch in the intake, that gets activated by the coin and thus count upwards. The bottom part of the ATM consists of a base to house the stepper motor as well as the second Arduino. Above that is a cover followed by a spinning coin distributor and a coin magazine. A rotating circle with coin-sized cutouts ejects coins every 1.5 seconds. The middle part houses the mechatronics, in which there is a cutout for the RFID card. On top of that is another cover with place for the joystick and money intake. Finally the housing for the LCD is positioned on top. The ATM is wired like shown in the circuit diagram. It has to use I2C communication because the pins needed for the stepper motor driver are reserved for the RFID module. Thus the stepper motor control has to be outsourced to a second Arduino. In the first part of the primary Arduino's code libraries are getting imported and variables are assigned. In the void setup all the required data transferring protocols are initialized and pin modes are assigned as in our outputs. Afterwards a function is called to get your account's data that is connected to your card's ID. The account's balance is stored in the Arduino ZE prom and is read out when the RFID card is checked. In the void loop are the two main functions. One of them is responsible to check for money inputs by monitoring a momentary switch inside the intake. If it gets activated, the account's balance as well as the display gets updated. The second function is dealing with controller inputs. Depending on the action, your draw gets in or decreased or money is dispensed out of the machine. By telling the second Arduino how much money should be dispensed via I2C. At the end of each input, the display gets updated accordingly. Haptic feedback is also managed in this function. The code for the second Arduino is way simpler. After initializing the function, it waits to receive data from the primary Arduino. After receiving a rotation count, it activates the stepper motor which turns accordingly as often as received previously and thus the ATM ejects coins. After uploading the code the ATM is ready to be used.